Hey guys, Keithy Six here, metal detecting in Alaska. Over the last few years, I've made a lot of crazy videos where I would go out in extreme cold and throw hot water into the air. Uh, I've thrown hot water, I've thrown hot coffee, I've thrown colored water, I've sprayed it through a super soaker. So I thought I would make a video of the best of and put all those videos into one. So let's check them out. backyard it's uh, about 44 45 below right now and uh, I'm gonna do something I've always wanted to do and around 40 or 50 below you're supposed to be able to get a hot cup of fluid throw it into the air and supposedly it won't fall to the ground it will turn into a vapor cloud and fly away so uh, I've got some coffee that's real hot they say use coffee because you could see it so let's give it a try all right let me go get my coffee Alright, so I got my hot coffee. It looks pretty hot. And I'm going to throw it up in the air and we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, guys. Take two, I've got hot water this time, so let's try it. Look at this cloud going up in the air. Crazy. That's throwing boiling water into the air at 45 below, Fairbanks, Alaska. Well, hey guys. Woo. It is 50 below here in Fairbanks. And uh, I thought I'd come out here with some hot water and throw it up in the air so you could see it just uh, fly away as a cloud. Man, it is cold. When it gets this cold, we get what we call ice fog. I just had to pay about 600 bucks to get my pipes thawed out because when it got down to 52 below last night, it froze up on this side of the house. So anyways, let's get some hot water and throw that in the air. It's not actually too bad for this cold as it is. So I've got some hot water here. Let's go throw it in the air and see what happens. There's a cloud just blowing away. Whew. All right, crazy. Let's get in where it's warm.
Hey guys, Keep the Six here. About two years ago, I made a video of throwing water into the air when it was uh, 50 below. It's only about 40 below here today, so let's try something new. I have a super soaker. Let's try that and some colored water and see what happens. Okay, so first I wanna try some hot blue water. So let's try that. Let's suck it up in the super soaker. All right, so now we got some hot red water. Let's try that. All right, now let's try some green water. All right, so now we're going to do some orange. Don't have to worry about cleaning up. It just floats away.
All right, guys, and for my last thing, let's just throw some regular hot water in the air. way up there. Isn't that crazy? Wow. All right, well, I have a lot more experiments in mind, so stay tuned. See you next time from Fairbanks, Alaska at almost 40 below. Gotta go. Almost fell down again. minus 30 something so I'm gonna go down to the bank and get a shot of what the temperature is well it looks like it's cold now check out what uh, gas prices are in Fairbanks Alaska $2.99 for regular unleaded and $3.39 for diesel. Well, so today, guys, I'm going to teach you how to make clouds in Alaska. After my video got 37 million views, I've had a lot of questions, and we're going to answer some of those today. Well, the first thing you're gonna need to make clouds is an outside temperature of at least minus 30 Fahrenheit or minus 34.4 Celsius. Well, and the second thing you're gonna need is boiling water at either 220 Fahrenheit or 104.4 Celsius, which is the point of boiling. Well, looks like the water is ready. Well, I'm no scientist, but there are two endothermic processes going on here. The first one is called sublimation, which is where something changes from a solid to a liquid to a gas. And then there's also something called the Mapinda effect. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that just means that hot water freezes faster than cold water. If you wanna know more about that, look them up and uh, you'll learn a lot more because I can't explain it. I'd also like to give a shout out to my buddy, Jacob, from the Chaos Divers. He gave me this hat probably four years ago and I wear it every winter. It keeps my head so warm. Anyways, shout out to you, Jacob. If you guys can, go check out his channel and subscribe to him. All right, so let's throw some water in the air and watch it flow away like a cloud.
Yeah, look at that. So that worked pretty good. All right, so I did it off of the ladder because some people wanted to see it at a higher rate there to fall. So anyways, next we're gonna try some hot coffee. A lot of people wanted to see that. Okay, so now we got some coffee boiling. Let's go try that. And now let's try it with some hot coffee. There you can see it worked, but at the same time, look how much coffee came down. But it did work. Okay, so water is the best. Now, last year, I went out with a super soaker spray gun and I sprayed hot colored water. So this year, I'm going to take a big pot of hot colored water and we'll throw that into the air because no matter how hard I tried with the super soaker, it would come out a certain color and then it would instantly change to white steam. So let's get a pot of colored water and try that. Okay, so we got some more water boiling and what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to put some blue food coloring in the water and turn it blue and then we'll throw that into the air. That all be cool. blue water all right so now let's do it with some blue water Wow, that didn't turn out so good. I tried it with this pot and it threw up and it slung back and came right down on top of me. Wow, look at this mess. So I don't know if you noticed, but the blue water looked like white steam. So it's kind of weird. You think it would be blue steam. Anyways, Thanks for watching my cool experiment. Hopefully it answered some of your questions. And uh, until next time, from Fairbanks, Alaska, we'll see you later.